Hello, I'm Father Jim Bioram, pastor of Our Lady of Hope Parish in St. Clair Shores. As you know, we are committed to working hard to keep you in touch with us while you are in your homes. We want to welcome Father Rhonda Hunt, pastor of St. Margaret of Scotland Parish, who will preside and preach at our Masses this weekend. I will be doing the same at St. Margaret's. I believe this will be the 10th year that we will have been doing this pulpit exchange. In 2011 or 2012, Archbishop Vigoran identified Our Lady of Hope and St. Margaret of Scotland as collaborative partner parishes. Since that time, we have had combined parish council nights. Our pastoral staffs have had lunch together and shared ideas and programs. We have shared some holy days together with one parish having the vigil mass, the other having mass on the holy day itself, inviting each other's parishioners to our parish picnics, to performances and other events. All of this will assist us in transitioning to a family of parishes made up of Our Lady of Hope, St. Margaret of Scotland, St. Isaac Jogues, Holy Innocent St. Barnabas and St. Pio. We have already begun the process with the town hall meeting at St. Isaac's Joe Parish on Sunday, March 13, and a question and answer session for parish pastoral staff members and parish employees held at Our Lady of Hope on Tuesday, March 22. The priests serving the five parishes will be appointed in solido, that is based on Canon 140 of the Code of Canon Law. We will be appointed to the family of parishes. That will mean that each of us will have primary responsibility for one of the parishes in the family, but we will establish how we will work together through a document entitled a covenant. The document will spell out the times we priests will come together to pray, share a meal, and make decisions on how our parishes will work together as a family. As you know, Archbishop Vigneron has appointed me as moderator of the priests of our family. We the moderators of the Wave 2 families, were reminded at our moderator formation sessions that we are to consider ourselves first among equals with our brother priests in our family. Having said that, there will be times when the buck stops with the moderator. The organizational structure of the family calls for some new positions of responsibility, not to be filled by the priests, and some new family groups, such as a family parish pastoral council and the family finance council. The permanent deacons will be assigned to the family and their ministries will be coordinated through the moderator. All of the priests and deacons of the northeast region of the Archdiocese of Detroit will have two days of formation sessions at the end of June. As you can see there is a lot of work ahead of us but it is exciting because it will better equip us to be about the task of sharing the good news. The Stations of the Cross will be praying this Friday, April 1st at 3 p.m., led by St. Germain School students. Everyone is welcome. The 10th Annual St. Germain Catholic School Dinner Auction Gala is this Saturday evening at the Barrister Gardens. It will prove to be a fun evening. A week from this Thursday, on Thursday, April 7th, I will be available for individual confessions in the Parish Center Chapel from 4.30 until 6 p.m directions will be posted. To recap the upcoming events of Holy Week beginning Palm Sunday weekend, April 9th and 10th, palms will be available before Masses on a table inside the outside doors of church. You touch it, it's yours. I will be available on Monday, April 11th for individual confessions in the Parish Center Chapel from 1 to 2.30 p.m. The Liturgy of the Last Supper will be Holy Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m with the washing of feet and a mini procession with the Blessed Sacrament to the altar of repose. Private prayer will be until 9 o'clock p.m. The Solemn Liturgy of Good Friday will begin at 1 o'clock p.m. For the veneration of the crucifix, a bow or the sign of a cross at a distance from the crucifix is in order. The church will be open for private prayer until 7 o'clock p.m. when the Stations of the Cross will be prayed. There will be an in-person blessing of Easter food on Holy Saturday at 11 a.m. The Easter Vigil will begin at 8 o'clock p.m. that evening. Three adults will be received into full communion with the church. Because of the increased seating capacity, 
there will be two Masses on Easter Sunday, 8.30 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Continue to pray for the victims of the virus, their families, and the first responders. Pray also for the people of Ukraine and other war-torn parts of our world, that peaceful solutions may be found to end the conflict. I would like to close, as I do each week, with a prayer for the sick, especially those suffering from COVID-19. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, eternal health of believers, hear our prayers for your servants who are sick. Grant them, we ask you, your merciful help, so that, with their health restored, they may give you thanks in the midst of your church. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, God bless, and we'll chat next week.